Hello YouTube, today I continue on from where I was in the last tutorial which if you haven't seen was on Rendezvous and uh, now we're very close to the target we want to dock with and now I'm basically going to go over how we actually get from you know close to it to actually docked with it. So the first thing we're going to do is get really close to it within 100 meters so we're going to point to it on the nav ball, which is just that pink circle there and burn prograde until we're actually going straight towards it which means the prograde marker is on the pink marker like that and that means we're going straight towards it and we're going to bring our relative distance down as low as we can so if we can get it down to 50 meters then that'd be great it looks like we might just about be able to do that and then we can burn retrograde again to get rid of that target velocity so i'm just going to burn retrograde now and burn that target velocity down to as close to zero as makes no difference. Now we can right click on our target, um, oh, sorry, on our, the docking port of our target and hit set target. And uh, then I'm actually just going to get a little bit closer. So I'm going to burn very, very gently. And uh, after this, we're just going to start using RCS. Now, if you're wondering how I'm making such fine adjustments, it's actually because I've got the thrust limiter on on my engine. Uh, which is fairly easy to do. Just right click on it and change the thrust limiter here. But we're going to use RCS now. So we're going to hit R to turn on RCS. And then the first thing we're going to do is actually point, let's say we'll point this ship north. Now in an equatorial orbit like this one, north uh, will stay the same as you go around the orbit, which is why we're going to north. Then we can use the square bracket keys to switch to the other ship. Turn on RCS on that if you've got it. Um, although it doesn't really matter if you use RCS or not to do that. And then you can point south, and that's because again, south is going to stay in the same place throughout your orbit. Yeah, it looks like we also, yeah, we can do the docking from here if we want now. And there we go, we'll get the target velocity down to um, as low as we can, basically. So now I'm going to go over the docking controls. Basically, you've got um, H and N are forwards and backwards, or sort of, yeah, I guess it is forwards and backwards. Then W, A, S, and D are your rotation, and I, J, K, and L are your translation, or like movement. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is try and get that target velocity back down. So I'm going to turn, um, turn this off after all that RCS maneuvering and things. And uh, we're going to get a little bit closer as well. But now we know that that thing is pointing north, we know that we only have to point south and we will definitely um, be in the right direction, basically, because that isn't going to stop pointing north. That won't happen. So here we go, just burn, get that really close. This will take practice to get as quick at it as I am, but you take it slowly and you'll be fine. It's not too difficult to do, it's just some basic maneuvering. And now, let me just completely stop if I can. Uh, we don't have the thrust limit to set on this one, so it's a bit more difficult. There we go. There we go. So now we're at 0, 0.0 meters a second. We can actually look at docking. So the first thing we're going to do is point south, because obviously that is pointing north, So as I said. And now we're going to see where our translation controls are taking us. And it looks like, um, yep, yeah, we've got translation working like that. You'll have to find out, depending on how you've placed your RCS thrusters, things like that, how this works. But basically, you need to work out um, the best camera angle to make it easy to see how you're moving and make your controls line up with what's happening on the screen. And then you can move around like I'm doing here. Obviously, if I wanted to dock, I wouldn't just do this. But basically, you need to move and move on each axis until you've pretty much lined up your dock. Then you can just tap in, and that will give you a little bit of relative velocity and make you start going towards your target. And then from here, you can sort of look like this. Um, you know, you look however you really want to. It doesn't. It's up to you, obviously. Um, and then keep going until eventually you will hopefully dock. If you miss on your first try, just get back out. Uh, you know, decrease your relative velocity as much as you can, and just have another pass. Eventually, you'll find it quite easy. Um, and practice with small ships first. That's usually easiest. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, I hope you learned how to dock, and the easiest way I think of how to dock anyway. And uh, as always, if you have any suggestions or questions, then leave a comment down below, and have a nice day.